It was kind of funny. Then I'd sit in the newsroom and look out the window and go, it's dark kind of early, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There it was. There was some excitement brewing. Oh, yeah. Shower, line of showers and thunderstorms marched through. We had warnings that were posted earlier. They're now long expired, of course. Here's where the rain is right now, if you look at the radar. We'll show you everything's off and out of the way. Well, actually, there's our lightning. So let me see if I can back up real quick here and get you the information that you need. And there we go. We go into the clouds, and now we go into the rain. And there it goes off and out of the way, though there's still some very vivid lightning, as you saw, saw briefly, still pushing off and out of the way. Precipitation amounts were varied. Not too bad across Chatham County. Some heavier amounts by the time we got into Effingham and into Bullock County. But look at that bullseye. This is just southwest of Glenville with an estimated six inches of rain from this afternoon's showers and thunderstorms. Indeed, some locally heavy rainfall. So grab your app. We're going to see that kind of rain first thing in the morning? No, we're not. But mostly cloudy skies and risk of showers and better chance by the time we get to 11, 75 to 84 for the afternoon temperatures. 90, 74 the extremes for the day. Now 56 hundredths officially in terms of rainfall, yet we're still just a little bit below normal officially. Cloudy skies and 74 degrees here at WTOC. In relative humidity, 95%. Winds are calm. We saw 79 hundredths of an inch of precipitation. There goes Ernesto. Here comes what was Florence. That's about to go away. And this is pro Tropical Depression number 7. It, if it gets named, it would be Gordon, but that's still a little ways away. 35 mile an hour winds moving west to 20. And the official forecast track so far takes it into the Caribbean, though the models, as you saw earlier, kind of not real sure what they're going to do with what might become Gordon. We'll watch this trough that's just offshore for us and a strong cold front that's going to try to push its way into North Georgia. It's never going to make it to us, but ahead of that front, there's going to be quite a bit of rain, particularly on Saturday. You'll see that in the seven-day forecast coming up in just a bit. Next tide will be high at 242 in the morning, 847 our next low tide, 646 our sunrise first thing in the morning. Low risk of rip currents. Look at the south West winds at 5 to 10 knots for Friday. Here's your first alert Doppler Max 11 forecast. Slight rain chance, 74 for tonight, 89 tomorrow. Again, the scattered showers and thunderstorms. It's a 40% chance for tomorrow, 74 tomorrow night, 60% chance on Saturday. That's the better chance of rain. Sunday, the better of the two weekend days, 91, just a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms and routine chances, I like to call it. Chances of showers and thunderstorms in the 90s the rest of the seven-day forecast. So with the Children's Hospital Gospel Sing coming up at Southeast Bullock High on Saturday evening, uh, that should be a lot of fun in the Brooklyn area. Don't forget the Georgia sales tax. Whatever you got planned for the weekend, follow us on Twitter at Big John Weather. Have a great day tomorrow. Thanks, John.